All right. Good afternoon. Welcome to CNT Collectibles. I am Chad. And I am Tom. And that's where we get the CNT from. Pretty, pretty, pretty uh, handy. Uh, so today we're going to talk about bubbles. Is the market in a bubble? Um, there's a yes and no answer to that. Parts of the market, maybe. Other parts of the market, not so much. So there's a couple different uh, ways that you can look at this kind of stuff here. And markets go through cycles. There's you know uptrends, there's sideways consolidations, and then there's downtrends. And so um, you can kind of spot these things. And if you've been watching our market uh, review videos where we kind of break down different players, uh, you see when we point out like these large volume, you know, no big spikes on no volume, and we say you know don't touch, and we we call them oopsies and all that kind of stuff here. So and I've changed them, and you will hear what they are in this video. <laughs> oh right, well why don't you just uh, spoiler, no, no spoilers, man. Just go ahead and tell us. Okay, well. Oh, you know what? Big... Wait, just wait a minute, and then we'll when we get to the first one, we'll, we'll do this. So, anyways, there was a video the other day from sports card investor uh, Jeff Wilson was pointing out a Tiger Woods card um, that was on a big spike. And the trick about bubbles is you don't know when they're starting. You know when you're in one, um, and getting out is a little bit tricky. He pointed out um, the Tiger Woods card, and so we'll pull that up on the screen here. And he said, you know, this this card is is uh, is down. It's in a bubble. You should sell. And the problem was, you know, he indicated right here. And it was down already 40% from the high. And so this isn't to, to, to rip on him or anything like that. I think he's a, a genuinely nice guy. He seems like it. And he's uh, obviously extremely intelligent. This just goes to show you that it's extremely difficult when you are in these price spikes to really kind of call, you know, when, when, it, when, when it's time to sell. No and one rings a bell at the top. And so you're going to be early. You're going to be late. Rarely are you going to be at the top. Um, and so that's that's kind of what we're going to go over today. So we're going to go over a few cards that are possibly in a bubble and show you what happens you know, before, during, after. And then we'll throw in a couple cards that are in those consolidations that maybe are worth buying. So, And those big spikes that I call now are don't buy at Mount Everest. Cause Mount it's, Everest. It's the biggest mountain I know. That's, well, I think that's the biggest mountain anybody knows. So you're, and... I'm glad school's paying off for you here. So. Um, Tiger Woods, you can see, had a lot of a lot of buying interest in here, and then it kind of set into this new level here. Had a big spike, and when you have these spikes, be patient. You know, um, back, you know, if you take away this whole part of the chart, you can maybe call that a little bit of a bubble. But it came back down into this area. Uh, then you had this explosion, and you see very few dots. And that is your kind of your mania um, phase. And again, calling you know, calling the top is difficult. You're going to be early, or you're going to be late. But if you are patient, it will normally come back down to one of these reference points, one of these levels. And that's what we're seeing in Tiger Woods cards. You have these things. Do not chase them. We always say don't chase. Yep, don't. Don't, don't, don't chase bubbles. Don't chase waterfalls. And don't try to catch a goat on Mount Everest. Yeah, well, those things can climb. They're kind of crazy, actually. Um, but anyway, so it's coming back. Tiger Woods is coming back to a part where you probably see more buying. So, again, uh, we, we've, we've pointed out some of these things in the past, and hopefully we, we save you a little bit of trouble here. So let's move on to Hulk Hogan, a card I've been watching for a while, and I think a lot of people are getting into these alternative, uh, alternative sports. And... Not a ton of buying or anything like that. And it says right up there that he is a wrestling. That makes me think of the Hulk because his first name's Hulk, and wrestling is really his thing. That's where it came from. His real first name is Terry. But yeah, this is uh, this is where it came from. But again, you see these breakouts, and then we're in the middle of a mania here. So again, you don't know where it stops. There could be another purchase up here. We don't know. Yes, but do not buy Mount Everest at five thousand. Um, but what we do know is. Yeah, we're not buying in here. So again, it could go higher, but it's going to go higher without us. But at some point, you probably see a decline back into this this reference point in here. So once people kind of get uh, Mr. Hulk Hogan, Terry, what was his last name? Balboa? I don't remember. Hogan. Balea? Hogan. Terry Terry Balea, I think it is. It's Hogan. Well, no, that's a that's a that's a stage name. Oh, oh all right, well, it all right. Up there, but... Um, and you can see how these things end. So here is a 1999 oh. Pokemon Charizard. And this was all the really rage. I'm not into Pokemon. Nah, much. well, enough people were though. This was all the rage in the fall, and this thing went up again, low volume spike. And you can see what happened. It was always a good deal, boom, 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 boom. But the patient collector will wait till it comes back to this reference point here, uh, in that two thousand dollar area. And so you can see that's kind of settled in here. And if you're looking for the Charizard, this seems like a reasonable and place to do it. 
and maybe you this could is, buy... This is a better spot to do it, but... Yes, and you maybe you can buy one of these high-priced cards if Grandma actually gets more than, like, maybe ten grand in the lottery, which will probably not happen. <laughs> well, we, we, we've Last time she only got four. Remember, we're talking about odds, and the odds against anybody winning, anybody we know winning that are not good, so we're not going to worry about it. Last time she only it. got four, but if she gets lucky, she might actually get more than... You'd have to be very lucky. <laughs> so, more than six grand. Anyways, we or don't chase these, eight. but if you're patient, you can get them back in here. So, again, Hulk Hogan... Tiger Woods showed it. Hulk Hogan is probably going to show it at some point. Charizard has, has shown your uh, your playbook. And uh, that's really showing it. Absolutely. Albert Pujols, same thing. We saw these monster spikes in just one sale takes it up the top. Don't be don't be the person that uh, follows up on the sale. You'll see a lot of volume. Mu- I didn't know there was multiple Mount Everests. Oh sure, there's multiple <laughs> peaks. Yeah, you've got um I forget the I forget the name of the peaks of them. And I don't think I need to know them. I'm no Sherpa, so anyways, you had... Because Albert Pujols is making people buy at Mount Everest. I don't think he's making anybody buy, but... Well, he's being good, so people can buy Well, he's it, a good right? player, exactly, so the price perhaps is justified, but you have a little bit of buying here, but you can see how quickly it returns to this reference point here, and if it came back to this level, it even came back down into here, it wouldn't surprise me a ton. I, I don't know that that happens by any means, but again, you know that you don't buy into something like this because you'll get another crack at it if you are patient. Yes, if, you, if you're if you patient, like, he might retire in a few years, so it might go down to that $300 mark. Maybe, well, he'll maybe be, okay, maybe the 1500 hmm. mark. 1000 Maybe a little bit over that 1000 Perhaps, perhaps. You know, he's going to be a Hall of Famer, and so there's going to be... And that's why you try and invest in Hall of Famers. <laughs> phone that's why you try to invest in hall of famers because they're always going to be relevant and those prices can stay much more elevated than than other people so another hall of famer miggy cabrera this is one that we've liked for a while thought this price was maybe fair to low for what hall of famers and then it started to kind of creep up a little bit and then recently you had a sale boom so actionable on time advice right here not yeah. that we give advice we don't give advice but that if that's person what... made it to mount everest but in the wrong time. They might be out of they might he be should, out of oxygen up here. You so. should let it go back down to maybe a thousand or a little bit less. Don't chase that one thousand four hundred. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Yes, don't chase up here. So there maybe is a couple more buys, but this card likely comes back down into this area here, giving you another chance. So don't panic about oh my gosh, here you know got, I need to get in now, otherwise I've missed my chance. You likely haven't missed your chance. Just be patient. Correct. Just be patient. It will go down to maybe nine hundred yeah. or eight hundred. You could see he that. is going to be a, um, a Hall of Famer. Famer. For sure. He's going to have a lot of milestones this year. Francisco Lindor. Now, this was a card back on November 11. Uh, I'll post the link to the video up there, but we broke down my shortstops. This was my number one shortstop. I said, you know what? He could get traded to the Mets and become a $400 card. So check that video out if you want uh, advice like that. And also advice, also, also advice like Corey Seager's too expensive at $75. I think he's at like 120 now. Yeah, you win some, I mean, you lose he did some. make it to, he did win the World Series. <laughs> he did, he did. So anyways, um, he's well on his Hall of Fame track here, so this price is justified okay, in here. Like $350, maybe even 400 Right, $400. So again, you had very few buyers up in here, and you probably see this after this initial mania of, oh, he's on the you know, big market team, Mets, all that kind of stuff. You probably see this come down to you know this $250 area, which... Again, for someone on on the on the, his long term track like him, probably a, a fair price. But right now you're at Mookie Betts level, and he not he not that yet. So you could see Mr. Lindor uh, come back down again. Very few buys here. You know, I would look forward to come back down again. So we're trying to spot some of these. So parts of the market are in a bubble, and then now there's parts of the market which you had initial spike, you had a consolidation, and now you're coming back up again. So these are players that. They had their bubble, and they haven't retraced back to their, their prior peak, and so maybe they're more of buys. And so we've talked about Acuna a lot lately. A lot. A lot. And this card has a lot of Mount Everest, or maybe a, some mini Mount Everest. Mm. Let's go with like... K9. K2. K9 is a dog. K2. K2 is a mountain. Okay, then yeah. you can say K2. Cause... <laughs> Something like that. So anyways, a, like... a lot of you. So when you have these, now what is healthy is yep, to return to... A previous level have a lot of consolidation and then make your move back up and you can see that acuna is kind of breaking out again it could be a 250 and dollar card it is a 252 i mean 250 dollar card it looks like oh uh, cool so that'd be more up in here it's getting there and i think it will get there i think it's just there's a magnet at this area here so um get a lot of ads today here all right cody bellinger another player that we like he had a monster peak here and it returned to this prior level here so buying up in this area this this little mania not so much in here you're probably going to be fine. 
Yes, only if you're extremely patient and waiting for it down here, you've been rewarded. And looks like he's starting to bottom out, and looks like he wants to make a run. And if he has or if you just, any success this season, you're probably you looking just, at a three hundred dollar um, card again. Or if you just, or if you just um like luck or early for the cards like come out, then well, or just that's early, why you that's early why you, at like the start of the buys, you would be lucky to get it under fifty. But if if you're not, that's like, why we're buying Kyle Tucker and Eloy and those guys. Maybe they're the next Bellinger, and we're getting them for forty or fifty. But if if you like are really patient around this time, you might wait for it to go down to three hundred or two hundred fifty. Go down. It's not even back there. Here's three hundred. Here's two fifty. Oh, then maybe two hundred. Or then I think it goes back up to that. Well, then maybe not. <laughs> Exactly. All right. So co some other players, Bryce Harper, you had this big spike up. And so, again, don't chase those spikes because you will get another crack at, at in an area where there was more buying. And you had that here. Now he's firmly in the middle of this range here. Um, he is he's, he's he, all-star game. Uh, some MVPs. Or, yeah, or excuse me, not all-star. Yeah, MVP. <laughs> A lot of all-star games. But he this is another the player. He game, I think, last. Here, yeah, probably. Um, but or at the sixty dollar level, probably a steal. But right in here, I think this is a pretty solid buy. As people kind of warm up to him a little bit, you'll see a a little more upside here. So again, parts of the market bubbly. Yeah, there's no question. But other parts of the market, a lot of sideways action. They had their big runs, but now they're just working it off sideways, and that is a healthy thing. So Manny Machado, same thing. You know, this summer really liked him in here. I thought this guy's on a really solid um, long term path. And uh, there's a lot of upside to it. And we got the uh, got the initial spike. And it came back down, gave you a couple opportunities to buy. And now it's giving you an opportunity to kind of sell. And we'll see if it can't settle around, you know, 80 bucks. But again, a good season, especially with the Padres. They're going to get a lot of run this year, don't you think? A lot of people will be watching them. Yes, they have a lot of new great players. I, I Like, I can't even name them all. They have super good players. Or, I just, or if I just Any pitchers? Them. Did they get any pitchers this year? You Darvish? Okay, maybe I just forgot them. Clevenger? <laughs> you know, he won't throw this here at all. C.J. Abrams coming up. A lot of, yeah, absolutely a lot of good players. So you had the spike, and it came back to this reference point. So if it's uh, you know if it goes back down to 80 bucks, that's that's your buy. If it counts, gets down to 60, buy two. Um, right now at this level right here, you want to see it sustained up up above this level before it really goes nuts. And if he does a few more years of this, then you could see $250, $300 out of this card. But for now, here's your range, and it's at the high end of that. So you know maybe you just kind of leave them for now. And Labor Day, we've talked about him a, a, a lot as well here. So, a lot the past few weeks. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, more more solid advice at my from my uh, shortstop uh, breakdown said, you know, fifty five bucks maybe that's a little expensive. <laughs> and now I think he's at ninety or something like that here. So, um, so I did like him though at least. But yeah, and you're you're seeing him. So he's coming up to the top of his range here. That whole entire card is just basically a little bit more flat of a mountain, but it still goes up and then down. Yeah, you, you had your run, and again came back to this reference point here, and um, a lot of a it lot of fives and sells up here, and it just started to trend down, and well, now there, you're kind of in this range. So if it can poke its head up above here, then you've got a new range up in this area. But for now, this is your range, and you're at the top of it. So this was a nice, you know, we kind of like buying them in here, and we thought there was a a, a real disconnect between the ten and the PSA nine. Um, and that, that's kind of showed. So right now, you know, $90 PSA 10 should be a $30 PSA 9. And that's where they've been going. So there's, you know, decent, uh, decent relationship there. But for now, uh, seems, seems at the top of his range, but maybe you get a little something down to that $60, $70. And that's, that's, that's the price I think for now. For now. For yes. now. Yeah. Now. I don't know if I have any more here. Yeah. There, there's our mail day thing. So we'll finish on Gliber. One last player and he's not on card ladder, but a player that I've actually started picking up a few of is the 2015 Chris Bryant card. And so if you look at Chris Bryant, last year was a disaster. Um, but the five previous years... The two, two elite, years ago... He was elite. elite. He was an MVP. Uh, his weighted runs created he were... He made a couple All-Star games, I think. Yeah, yeah. And there really wasn't a lot... Two in years his, ago, he made the All-Star game, I there think. There wasn't a lot in his numbers to suggest that he's that there's this utter collapse. You know, his BABIP was really low, but... His hard hit, his fly balls, everything like that. Strikeout rate went up a little bit. Walk rate went down a little bit. I think he can fix it. And right now he's trading for about $60. And so that is at the low end of where a lot of these guys are playing. For someone with an MVP, that's kind of at the low end. So I think Chris Bryant, you know, if Carl ever throws a chart up there, I think he would see that uh, probably a pretty reasonable buy towards the bottom of his range. And that is someone that we are interested in. You'll see in a future mail day. And all right. that's maybe what you will see. Maybe. So, all right, that's what we got for you today. Bubbles, they pop. That's how it goes. If you have a pin, they immediately pop. <laughs>
something like that. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. Bye.